light and all that it represents was the very first thing God introduced into his creation. The first two verses of the Bible proclaims, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without forms and void, and darkness was upon the faces of the deep. And the Spirit of God hovered upon the faces of the water. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. Creation was structureless, lifeless, lightless, and the watery chaos. And the Spirit of God hovered like a mother bed over these watery chaos. He loved the chaos, cared for the chaos, and was about to develop the chaos for a period of six days. Light is a marvelous thing. God spoke light into existence. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Witness the first power of God. He speaks and things happen. In other words, God wills happen. As basis of Syria explained in the sermon on Genesis chapter 1, the divine will and first impetus of divine intelligence are the word of God. For starters, light is very quick. Moving just a shy of about 3,000 km per second. If you drove your car to the sun at 110 km per hour, the speed limit, it will take you 157 years to arrive. But if you could ride a beam of light to the sun, it would only take you 8 minutes 20 seconds. I am always delighted by the thought that when I look up at the stars, not only do I see a glorious picture of the number of Abraham's descendants, I see also the distance past, the light of far distant stars and galaxies that may have taken thousands of years to reach me. Light is the ultimate sophistication of creation. For creation was in the Rather, Genesis 1 describes six days of God enlightening, ordering, feeling, and enabling of his creation. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And he saw that the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. And he called the light the day and darkness the night and there was evening and there was morning this is the first day genesis chapter 1 verses 3 to 5 
at the cattle plant. What spoke of perhaps keeping mind when he had worn Magna Carta? For the sake of clarity and context that I found, the rhapsody of Magna Carta is that innovative. It's a landmark document that set out important principles and reality in the world. It was a great charter that was used by King John to build the pyramids at Rodenberg during the year 2020. Whatsoever I say unto you, do it. This is the third mystery of light, titled the proclamation of the kingdom of God. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdoms of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Extracted from the books of Mark, chapter one, verse fifteen. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John his brother and led them up the high mountain of the And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garment became white as light. Matthew 17, verse 1 or 2. Fifth mystery of light the institution of Eucharist. Now, as they were hating, Jesus took the bread. And gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take it, this is my body. Matthew 26 Now, can you now see that all my trees were in We are the light of God had to shine on the Son of Man. These luminous my trees were the story of Jesus from his life, from his baptism to his death. Jesus then teaches us. How we can be his disciples and light shining ambassadors. Touch their family. We shine your 